हाय स्टूडेंट्स गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज बाजी सर माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स हियर आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच द टॉपिक टेंसेस नाउ हियर टेंस इज अ चेंज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब टू शो द टाइम ऑफ द एक्शन माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स here you should be very careful tense is a change in the form of the verb to show the time of the action for example he plays chess here this verb represents present tense simple present tense he plays chess for example he played chess yesterday it expresses simple past for example he will play chess tomorrow this verb expresses simple future so according to the definition tense is a change in the form of the verb previously plays present tense past tense played future tense will play so basing upon the verb we can decide the tense of the sentence that's why tense is a change in the form of the verb to show the time of the action so he plays present tense he played past tense he will play future tense so the definition is correct change in the form of the verb we have to understand now there are three types of tenses in the english language present past future my dear students each tense is divided into four sub parts so how to get the four sub parts easy manner now see here present tense divided into four sub parts past tense is also divided into four sub parts and future tense is also divided into four sub parts so what are they see here dash simple dash continuous dash perfect dash perfect continuous so here simple continuous perfect perfect continuous these are the common words of all the four sub tenses now here you write present it will become first sub part of the present present simple same present continuous present perfect present perfect continuous simple continuous perfect perfect continuous here we have right these are the four sub parts of present tense now past tense simply here you mention past tense past past simple past continuous past perfect past perfect continuous these are the four sub parts of past tense now future tense simply here future if you mention here future simple future continuous future perfect future perfect continuous tense so in this way each tense is divided into four sub parts that's why each tense present past future three into four twelve sub tenses are there now my dear students in english language if you want to understand the sentence verb we have to give much importance verb verb is divided into three parts eat ate eaten it is called simple present ate is called simple past eaten is called past participle so like this so many thousands of verbs are there in the english language 
So first of all, we have to know the three forms of the verbs. Eat, ate, eaten. Drink, drank, drank. Sing, sang, sung. Go, went, gone. And moreover here, when you are writing sentence, first of all, we have to take subject, later verb. Now here we have to understand one thing. Subject, singular subject is there, plural subject is there. Sentence when you start. Singular subject means one person we are taking into our consideration. Now my dear students, singular subject, singular verb. Plural subject, plural verb. We have to follow this uh, formula. For example, what are the similar subjects? For example, he, she, it are called singular subjects. Here verb forms, goes, eats, drinks, sings. These are called similar, singular verb forms. Plural subjects, I, we, you, they. I seems to be singular only. But after this one, we have tried plural verb only. Eat, drink, sing, go. So what about this singular subjects, so plural subjects, singular verb, plural verb. When we start any sentence, we have to start with one person. Person is a singular person or a plural person. Person means man or woman. Singular or plural we have to take. He if you take, one singular. She, one. It means animal or article. It. For example, cow eats grass we have to write. Now, cows is there, suppose plural. Cows eat grass, we have read. Now, see here. So, verb we have to divide into three parts eat, ate, eaten. Simple present verb we can divide them into two parts. See here. It is called plural verb. Yes, if you add, it will become singular verb. Keep in your mind. Here I am talking about verb. Verb, if you add yes, verb will become singular. That is the important thing. Drink, singular verb. Sing, sings, singular verb. Go, O is there, ES we have to write. Or H is there also, ES. Finish, finishes, ES we have to write. Now see here, past tense, such a type of singular plural difference is not there. Past possible also, no difference. Only simple present verb, if you want to write a sentence, we have to take into our consideration, we started a sentence singular subjects or a plural subjects. Singular subjects means, immediately we have to write this verb. For example, he goes to school every day. She eats fruits daily. It drinks water generally. Like that here, present tense only, this singular verbs only we have to use. Because he means one person, she means one, it means also one. So similar subject after singular verb only, present tense only while you are writing by using a simple present verb. Now, plural subject, actually I is called singular only, but I after plural verb only we have to write. I means singular, nenu. We, more than one, we eat. I eat fruits, we eat fruits, you eat fruits, they eat fruits. You mean singular or plural. So here, what you have to identify is, here S is there, singular subject after, plural subject after, verb S is not added. That one we have to follow. Singular subject, singular verb, plural subject, plural verb. Only while we are writing by using the simple present verb only. Simple past, no difference. We should not add yes to the simple past verb. And eaten also, we should not add any yes to the past possible form also. My dear students, this rule we have to follow. Singular subject, singular verb. Plural subject, plural verb. While we are writing sentences by using the simple present. Now, my dear students, my dear students, if you want to write four sub tenses of each maintenance,
first of all we have to know the b forms b forms are very very important present tense b forms am or is past tense was were future tense shall be will be here present past future b forms we understood next have forms also we have to know what are the present have forms have has have has what are the past have forms had future have forms shall have will have see here this is is a singular b form here this is a plural b form here also plural have form this is a singular have form so present tense while you are dealing these things we have to take into our consideration past tense means was were here past tense past have form had future tense shall be will be future be forms have form shall have will have so when we are writing sub tenses of three main tenses present past future these be forms and have forms we use for example present tense continuous tenses are there at the time we have to use am is or along with the verb form means for example eat and be forms we have to mix am eating or eating is eating past continuous was eating were eating future continuous shall be eating will be eating so first verb we have to change it into ing form then before that we have to add these be forms to form continuous tenses now perfect tenses perfect tense is that present perfect past perfect future perfect at that time we three form we have to take have eaten has eaten present perfect had eaten past perfect shall have eaten will have eaten is a future perfect so if you want to write the four sub tenses of three main tenses we have to get the help of be forms and have forms that's why my dear students first of all we should have commanding power on be forms and have forms now we are going to write different types of 12 sub tenses of three main tenses present past future now my dear students we are going to write four sub parts of each main tense present past future see here present past future so here present simple first one this box present continuous this box present perfect this box present present perfect continuous here also past simple past continuous past perfect past perfect continuous future simple future continuous future perfect future perfect continuous see here all simple tenses of present past future in these three boxes all continuous tenses of present past future all perfect tenses of present past future all perfect continuous tenses of present past future we are going to write once again my dear students first of all already told you b forms have forms commanding power on b forms have forms you have to get once again we are going to see the b forms <coughs> my dear students see carefully the b forms i after i am we have to use present tense will you they after or he she it after is here if you see he she it he means one man she means girl one it means animal or thing for example monkey drinks milk it for example earth moves around earth the earth moves around the sky gives a raining like that for example here past tense was were future tense shall be will be now here singular subject singular verb is here plural subject we you they are for a separately i am is there past tense also 
I was, he, she, to was. Means for a singular S verb we have to use. For a plural without S. We, you, they are. Plural, we. So many people. You also. One or more than one. Or. They. So many people. Are we have right. Have forms also see here. I, we, you, they. Plural have form we have right. He, she, it. Singular subjects. Has we have right. Singular subject after S has. The verb at the end of the verb yes we have to use has. Singular subject present be form also yes sir. At the end of the verb yes. Singular subject means present tense singular subject means the verb which ends with yes sir is called singular verb in simple present tense. Present tense after singular subjects we have to write singular verb. Singular verb is nothing but the verb ends with the S. For example, it is there. He eats, she eats, it eats. She drinks, he drinks, it drinks. So, singular verb means the verb which ends with the S. Keep in your mind, my dear students. Now, we are going to write by using B forms, have forms, and uh, my dear students. Now, for example, with the he we are going to write. He. For example, drink verb we are taking. And I told you. He after. What is this? Simple, present simple we are going to write. Present simple verb means. First verb we have to take. Drinks. For example, drink already. Three verb forms I wrote. Drink. Drank. Drunk. So here one other verb is there. V1, V2, V3. V1 is called simple present. V2 is called simple past. V3 is called past participle. Now here singular subject, singular verb rule we have to follow. Only simple present is milk. Past tense. Past simple, no difference. Directly, this is called past simple or simple past verb. Directly, he drank milk. We have to write. Now, future simple. Here, future simple means V1 verb before will or shall we have to write. He will drink milk. So, my dear students, you should be very careful about the construction of the sentences. See here once, simple present verb while you are writing, subject singular is there, yes verb we have to take. Simple past. This is simple, this is past. Simple past means V2 verb as it is we have right. Now simple future means this verb is called plural verb. This verb is called singular. Plural verb before only will we have right. So this is the same rule we have to apply for all the verbs. First you have to divide the verb into V1, V2, V3. So many thousands of verbs are there. Every verb we have to divide like this. So simple present, simple past, simple future verbs we got. Clear? My dear students, right. Now continuous tense. Continuous tenses we are going to discuss. Continuous tenses while you are writing, what you have to understand is, this plural verb we have to add ing. Very easy. Drinking milk. Here, one verb we have to write. Already I told you, he after what is the B form? B form here we have to write. He is drinking. This is the present continuous tense verb form. He after is only we have to write. Present B form. He after he is drinking. So, continuous tense means. V1 verb we have to add ing. Drinking. Continuous tense means all continuous tenses. 
drinking, drinking, drinking. Here, present be form is drinking. For example, past continuous tense. Same, drinking milk. So, past continuous means past to be form. Was is there. This is the verb form. Past continuous tense. Now, future continuous tense we are going to write. Drinking, same only. Drinking milk. Here, future continuous means future be form will be. This is the verb form. So, my dear students, continuous tense means V1 verb, ing, plural verb, we have to add ing. Not a drinking, drinking only. Drinking, drinking, drinking. Here, present be form. Here, past be form. Here, future be form. Already, we discussed be forms. So, if you want to write continuous tenses, this be form help we have take here is, here was, here will be. That's why I already told you present be forms, past be forms, future be forms. Continuous tense means V1 verb ing. Now, perfect tense we are going to discuss. Perfect tense means V3 form of the verb we have to take. For example, he drank milk. For example, he after drank we wrote. Drank before we have to write present have form because this is the present perfect tense. Present have form we have to write. This is the verb form of present. Drank D R U N K D R U N K drank. V3 form only we have to use to write the perfect tense. To write the continuous tenses. V1 plural verb we added ing, drinking, drinking, drinking. Present be form, past be form, future be form. Already we discussed be forms, have forms table. Now perfect tense if you want to write, only V3 verb we have to use, drunk. Here also see here, he drank milk. Here also, he drank milk so perfect tense if you want to write v3 form we have take here present have form this is a past perfect past tense perfect past perfect this block so had drank future perfect here we have write will have will have drank these are the verb forms Present have form, past have form, future have form, has, had, will have. Now, perfect continuous tense. My dear students, perfect continuous tense if you want to write, we have to follow. Continuous tense means V1 plural form ing. For example, see here, he. Perfect continuous tense means here we have to write. Been, continuous tense means drinking, V1 verb ing, plural verb ing, drinking, milk. Here, present have form, has been drinking, this is the verb form of perfect continuous tense. Past perfect continuous tense, past perfect continuous. See here, been drinking common, been drinking Common milk. Here, what we have write past perfect continuous means past have form had been drinking. This is the verb form of past perfect continuous tense. Now, future perfect continuous tense we are going to write. He been drinking common only been. Drinking milk. Here, future have form means will have. So, verb form is will have been drinking. So, present have form. Been drinking is common, perfect continuous tense. Been drinking. Been drinking. Present have form, 
past have form, future have form. So, my dear students, if you want to write continuous tenses, perfect tenses, perfect continuous tenses. Continuous tenses, if you want to write B forms, we have to know. Perfect tenses, if you want to write has, had, will have, have forms, we have to know. Perfect continuous tenses also have forms, we have to know. So, without knowing B forms and have forms, we can't write the continuous, perfect and perfect continuous tenses of three main tenses. Simple tenses means you need not take any B form. Simply see here, V1 verb. He is singular. That's why S yes, you have to add singular. This is singular. He means one now. Drinks means singular verb. Singular verb means verb we have to add S. Yes. This verb is called plural verb. Here verb. Verb if we add S, yes, it will become singular. So here this is a past tense. Past tense we should not add S. Yes. As it is we have to write. He will drink. Future tense means V1 plural verb before will we have right. Now continuous tense, perfect tense, perfect continuous tenses. If you want to write, we have to use V1 verb continuous tenses. ING drinking, drinking, drinking. Present be form, past be form, future be form. Now perfect tenses, if you want to write, V3 verb we have to take. See here, drunk, drunk, drunk. Here, present have form, past have form, future have form, we have right. Here, perfect continuous. Continuous means V1 plural verb ing drinking. Been drinking, been drinking, been drinking. Present perfect continuous means present have form. Past perfect means past have form. Future perfect means future have form. So, has had will have been drinking common. Like this, my dear students, we can write different types of sentences. So, verb is the very, very important thing. See here, simple present, drinks. He milk common only. This is subject, this is object. In all the sentences, subject, object common only. But verb is different. That's why tense is a change in the form of the verb. Here, drinks is there, present tense. Here, drank, past tense, yes, is not there. Future tense, will the shallows compulsory should be there in future tense. Now, continuous tense means V1 verb ing compulsory we have to add. Whatever the verb you take, for example, singing, for example, eating. Here, eating, eating, eating we have to take. Now, continuous tense means ing. B forms we have to use. Perfect tense means V3 form only we have to use in perfect tenses. Only perfect. Present perfect, past perfect, future perfect. Perfect continuous tense means, again continuous tense means V1 ing. Perfect continuous means been V1 ing. Present have form, past have form, future have form we have right. My dear students, in this way, with the help of the B forms, we can write present, past, future continuous tenses, perfect tenses and perfect continuous tenses. To write two simple tenses of present, past, future, you need not to use any B forms under have us. So, my dear students, I hope you understood very well. Please like it and share it and subscribe it. Next video, we are going to learn how to use different types of sentences in different ways. Thank you one and all. Have a nice day.